Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, uh, we're still on our Waves plugins. I'm going to show you guys another plugin called the Waves True Verb. Uh, it's a great reverb uh, plugin. I'm going to go into it, show you guys what kind of options it has. Uh, please keep in mind that later on in my future tutorials, I'm actually going to show you guys how to mix with this plugin. I'm going to show you, get more into detail with it, and you guys are going to learn a lot from me. But for right now, I'm just going to open it up, show you guys a little bit more about the plugin in case you guys uh, uh, want to go in and try it for yourselves uh, and see if you guys want to purchase it or whatnot. Or if you already have it purchased, then you should open up Audio Effects, Audio Units, Waves, and you'll see it in here. And you'll know uh, you'll know that you you'll know that you already have it. So let's go to True Verb. Open it up. It's going to look a little something like this. It's kind of a crazy plugin. Um, uh, you got your time response and your reverb napping, so it gives you two meters. You got your uh, frequency response over here, and you got your room. Uh, uh, you got your room over here. Uh, it gives you the option to make it bigger, smaller. It gives you dimensions, distance. If you want to get really into detail, uh, there's a lot of math involved with this. Uh, balance, decay time, pre-delay, density, uh, reverse shelf, uh, a uh, er absorb, high frequency. Uh, these are these are all just um, gonna make you guys confused if you guys don't know uh, what you guys are really doing. But more so for a reverb, I would just more uh, more so focus on the room size, uh, the distance, and the dimensions. You know, you guys can play around with this. It, it will give you guys a little bit more of an effect. But uh, you guys basically have to have your ear going on. Um, you got your direct uh, uh, mix. You got your early uh, ref mix, and you got your reverb mix over here. And you got your game button over here, your output. But basically, go in and try it out for you guys selves. You know, fool around with it, see what kind of uh, see what kind of effects you guys can get out of it. Hopefully, they'll be positive. But stay tuned because later on, I'm sure you guys how I use this and how I get a great, great effect out of it. But for right now, this is the True Verb uh, uh, plugin. Hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. And thank you guys for watching. And please subscribe.